A depth of around 60 kilometers and about 65 kilometers northeast of Hualien City. So far, there are no reports of casualties or damage. You can see in the video here uh, in this building, the lights are shaking. So hoping for all the best for those in Taiwan. We're going to take it over now to Marty in the Storm Tracker 13 Meteorologist Center. Marty, hopefully, I mean, normally we don't see any issues like that. And thankfully, certainly hoping for all the best for our friends over there. But here back home, a little gusty, a little chilly this morning. Could be worse. Could be a lot worse. Could be worse. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, this time of year can get kind of crazy, and it really hasn't been so far. We've been pretty fortunate that way. Looking out east from Crowley County this morning, now we're starting to get some real nice color in the skies. Uh, seen from our VR Wireless Neighborhood Weather Network camera looking out from Ordway. Uh, most of the clouds are off to the east right now. Really, many areas are, are mostly clear right now in the southern part of the state anyway. We have a mixture of 30s and 40s out there, so that at least suggests that it's a little bit cool. There have been some areas mainly on the higher terrain where it's a little bit on the breezy side this morning. But uh, most of the precipitation is well off to the north and east or back up across the high country and the continental divide and even that's kind of falling apart now. So this little system scooting out of here pretty quickly. At least it's nice and quiet this afternoon. Really, I think we'll have less cloud cover around as compared to yesterday. We'll still have some wind. I don't think it's going to be horrible, but uh, it'll be a little breezy at times, especially over the mountains where we'll have some gusts over the higher peaks. But I think for many of us, we'll be running somewhere between about 10 and 20 miles an hour and occasionally maybe a couple of gusts higher than that, which isn't nothing, but it's uh, not unusual for this time of year to at least have some wind, especially when it's warmer day and it, it won't be a bad day today. Temperature wise highs will generally be in the 60s to lower 70s in eastern Colorado, which puts us a handful of degrees above where we should be this time of year. Leadville stays in the 40s. We'll have 50s probably around Teller County, Gunnison in the upper 50s, and we should manage to reach the 60s in Salada and Alamosa this afternoon. Tonight it looks pretty quiet, just a few clouds floating across the area. The air overhead is actually going to warm pretty nicely. And, and near the mountains tomorrow morning, we could probably be pretty mild with many areas remaining well into the 40s. That'll be true on the northern slopes of the Raton Mesa, Walsenburg, Trinidad, probably on the other side of the Palmer Divide too. But low-lying areas here along the I-25 corridor and maybe along the Arkansas River could still dip briefly into the 30s tonight. Uh, we'll look for 20s up across the high country and some of the big mountain valleys will be kind of cool as well. Alamosa down to about 25. Right now, just a few clouds as seen from up on top of Cheyenne Mountain. That's our Colorado Lottery camera this morning. And still sitting in the uh, infrared mode, just don't have quite enough light yet to go into colors, but we'll do that pretty shortly. We'll be tracking more wind, a lot more wind actually. Another cold front is going to be the culprit for that wind, and it probably means we'll get a chance for some rain and snow showers. And we'll talk more about that in our extended forecast coming up soon. Stick around, we'll be back after the break.